So let's begin by talking about clustering. What is clustering as a concept and from a conceptual point of view, what does it represent? In the most simplest and layman of terms, clustering is a network collection of compute nodes to formulate a single logical machine for load balancing, scalability, and high availability purposes. Generally and typically, these clustered server, servers or compute nodes are networked within a small geographical vicinity to prevent network latency and achieve higher performance. Clustering is also synonymous to and known as MPP or massive parallel processing. The key word being parallelization. What is Oracle Rack? And what is its history, genesis? What is the architecture it's comprised of? And what is its current standing in the industry? Oracle Rack is the cluster or parallelization version of its widely popular Oracle database family of products and provides scalability, load balancing, and automatic failure protection in case of server failure. The key word being server failure. Oracle Rack achieves this parallelization by keeping the Oracle database server product available and running across a set of multiple server nodes accessing a common database on shared storage, thereby providing MAA or maximum availability features such as load balancing, scalability, elasticity, and high availability. Oracle Rack is augmented by Oracle Data Guard, which provides site failure to implement MAA set of paradigms and best practices. To give you a historical perspective of Oracle Rack, Oracle was the first vendor to offer a parallelization product at the database tier with version 6.2 for the DEC Rack's platform. Previous incarnations of Oracle Note Rack were known as Oracle Parallel Server or OPS. The term Oracle Rack and the set of technologies that it encompasses was released and popularized in 2011 with the advent of the 9i version of the Oracle database family of products. The shared everything approach is integral to Oracle Rack and is the backbone of its core engine from a paradigm perspective and allows multiple compute nodes to run individual and distinct Oracle RDBMS server instances, allowing them to concurrently, simultaneously, and parallelly read and write to a single and unified cluster database on shared storage. With the previous versions, third-party clusterware was required to run Oracle Rack. Well-known examples of third-party clusterware are Veritas SF Rack, which is probably the most popular one, Sun Clusters, HP True Clusters, and others. The exception being Linux and Windows, which was provided by Oracle and branded as Oracle Cluster Ready Services, or CRS. CRS was later renamed to Oracle Clusterware in 10G R2. With 10G and up, third-party clusterware is no longer required or recommended by Oracle. 11G grid infrastructure is a rebranding and represents the next generation of clustering within Oracle database server family and combines Oracle clusterware and ASM, which is automatic storage management, in a single unified Oracle home. Here are a few salient features and characteristics. Oracle Rack supports up to 100 nodes with 10G R2 and is at the most complex end of the Oracle database server family spectrum. It is the core technology behind grid or cloud computing at the database tier for Oracle and needs advanced, sophisticated, and automated tools to administer and manage it. The most powerful popular and advanced as well as recommended platform of choice for management and administration is the Oracle Enterprise Manager Grid Control suite of products. Oracle Rack is primarily used for load balancing and secondarily for failover purposes. 
It provides the critical features needed to architect and implement maximum availability architecture, which are load balancing, workload distribution, elasticity, fault tolerance, and on-demand scalability. Incidentally, these features nicely intersect with the characteristics and features provided by cloud computing paradigms and have sort of merged, if you will, as part of Oracle's current cloud computing strategy and direction. So let's talk a little bit about Oracle Rack architecture from a 30,000 feet level. Each Oracle Rack instance has its own set of background processes, its own distinct SGA, and its unique set of redo log and alert slash trace log files. Redo log files can be simultaneously read by all instances comprising the Rack cluster, but can only be written by the master instance. So what are the various and different components that an Oracle Rack cluster is made of? Generally, an Oracle Rack cluster comprises of the following components. A single unified Rack database comprising of shared control and data files on shared storage, which is accessed by multiple instances presenting a single source of truth across the board. Typically, low cost or commodity hardware is generally used as the Oracle Rack Compute nodes. Multiple, multiple instances can run with on multiple nodes. As I mentioned on the previous slide, each Rack instance has its own set of undo table spaces and redo log files. As part of the shared everything approach, in it, control and data files are shared across instances. Cache Fusion is the core technology that provides synchronization and enables concurrent as well as simultaneous transaction processing amongst all the instances using the private cluster network interconnect, which we will be talking in detail in a little while. The diagrams in the next few slides are taken from various sources of Oracle documentation and give you a graphical depiction of the various components, processes, demons, technologies, paradigms that Oracle Rack is made of. In this diagram, as you can see, there is at the bottom of the at the bottom of the slide there is a shared storage layer which houses and acts as a shared repository for all your data files, your control files and all other files needed to run your Oracle Rack cluster. Each instance has its own set of memory structures, its own, se its own set of processes and daemons, and as I mentioned in the previous slides, its own set of redo, alert, log files, and such. So the two main competing paradigms for large-scale transaction processing and large-scale processing of huge volumes of data are SMP, versus MPP. Oracle, Re Re Oracle Rack represents the MPP paradigm and represents, in other words, scaling out versus scaling up within a single large monolithic mainframe-like machine. So how do applications adapt to Oracle Rack? Typically, if an application is well written and is realistically expected to scale well within a single box or an SMP, then it will theoretically and generally it scales pretty well on Oracle Rack without having to make any changes to the Oracle application uh, to the application code. Again, Cache Fusion is the driving technology behind Oracle Rack that enables applications to scale out on multiple services, servers and instances 
within Oracle Rack. Typically, the instance failover time is very small. It's within a few seconds to within a few minutes. 